All right, guys, we are back to uh, the duck management part. Hope you guys enjoyed turkey season. Here we are at Eagle's Nest. This is my first time down here. Eric's been down here a couple times. I just had a baby seven weeks ago. Eric just had a baby yesterday. So he kind of told me what's going on down here. Pulled up to the first weir box. And of course, beavers. A couple hundred pounds of mud inside of it. So this will be a fun little project to start the year when you think you're just gonna show up and start planting duck food. Well, good Lord, you got something else planned. So we're gonna get our waders on and see if we can uh, clear this weir box out, get the old buck brush hole ready to plant. She's going now. All right, guys, so what we got here is a, uh, a unit of tamoy soil that we've drawn down over the last month to six weeks. So you can tell over here we started, that's the first probably week and a half, two weeks. Beautiful grass. Um, somehow we have outrun. Uh, we ain't outrun them completely. Here's a little bit, but uh, anyhow, for the most part, it's it's mostly barnyard grass and probably a little bit of sprinkle top. But anyhow, you can just see the natural progression of of each drawdown process. So hopefully, we can catch a rain an inch. You know, you don't want to come in here and spray this when it when it's hot and super super dry until it gets bigger. That up there would probably handle it just fine. But this down here, it's. Uh, you know, places you can spray 2,4-D, you don't have cotton around, and uh, but you guys spraying blazer, it's going to be pretty hard on it. Both chemicals can be pretty harsh on the on the grass. So what we're going to do is just hope for rain this Sunday. We're supposed to get a half inch to an inch. So if we can get a half inch rain, everything will perk up, and we'll come in here in the next week, 10 days, spray this, clean it up, and uh, each uh, you can tell where we pulled the board on the other side of the Can Am here. That was the first draw down. And then right here on this line, you can just tell the water line right here is where we dropped the second board and we just stair step on our way down. So remember, uh, my experience is don't pull your water in February and March, April. You know, wait till your temperatures get warm. And as long as you've still got your water, you, you've still got a shot at, at having a really good moist soil crop in, in my experience. And, only only drain what you can manage so do a little bit of the time so the beavers don't uh the beavers or the weeds or whatever it may be don't sneak up on you um but yeah just remember if you still got your water you still got your moisture and you still got a chance to have a awesome moist oil crop that's your tip of the week yeah that needs dirt so it's the day after that we uh Planted G bottom before. We're going on the very north end to the uh, the buck brush hole, and it is so dry that we put out the fertilizer first, and then Kelly tool it, and hope that we have enough moisture to get the corn up in the buck brush hole. We're gonna work it up once, and you know, see where the moisture's at. If there's good moisture there, and the fertilizer's worked in, then we're gonna go ahead and plant it. But uh, once again, no rain in the forecast, so. We're just kind of trying to get some seed in the ground and hope there's enough moisture to get it up. We are officially planting. Uh, yeah, just about everything that could go wrong today went wrong. Sheared a pin on the planter. A part of the planter fell off as we were moving it first thing this morning. Couldn't find it. Had to run back to the shop uh, and a, a number of other things. But we're finally uh, putting seed in the ground. We're going to put it deep anyways. We know the outcome of 
of what it looks like because this is how we plant eagle's nest every year there's moisture two inches down like almost it's almost like mud but once it dries out it just opens up that seed trench when that seed trench opens up and it's muddy and gooey like that the the corn seed seedling is just exposed to everything i mean it's just basically roots in the ground and uh, we see it every year when we plant it like this but it's really our only option to get the corn up so we just hope it rains to uh to to close that seed trench up but everywhere else is uh it, it doesn't have any moisture anywhere so we don't know what the outcome is going to be of that so is what it is mother nature always wins but we should have good stand here so stay tuned we're going to get a couple more acres planted here in the buck brush hole and uh, move to blind six so what we did today we're going to flood on all this rice out, out here around the lodge and you know all this is zero grade so we don't really need a levee but to hide the pit we Pull the levee and fix and seed it with rice so uh, it'll kind of blend in. The best way to hunt any field is, is in a rice levee. It's just a proven fact that they just get closer, they act, act better, and I think they're used to seeing them. So, uh, yeah, it helps hide the square outline, but that's what we're doing now. We pulled this levee. We're going to take the little tractor. It's kind of unorthodox way of doing it. We're going to spread the rice on the levee, then I'm going to make a real light pass with the levee plow hand seeded around the pit and uh, as the water comes up it'll soak the levee, it should germinate the rice and we should be in good shape. We've done it to three or four pits up here last couple days, about 95 degrees, about the driest we've ever seen it for the first week of June. It's kind of crazy so we thought last year was bad but if something don't happen this year is going to be a lot worse. It's, it's going to be really tough on a lot of people so hopefully uh, yeah hopefully it rains up north. Hopefully it rains in Canada and the Dakotas but down here it's it's pretty desolate, it's, it's dry, it's pretty rough. Yeah, so here we are, June 5th. And we're still fighting the damn beavers. They've killed two of them, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna have to get the excavator. So, they work hard, a little bit harder than we do, and, Got a little more time than we got, so here we are. At least our waders don't leak. That's that's a good thing. Nothing like nice stagnant buffalo and guard, rotten, dead, nasty water. But yeah, we're still working on drawdown. So the the key with uh, moist soil is that I've learned is if you if you don't drain your water too fast, you're never late. So your your water is your one thing that. Uh, always guarantees a moist soil crop so as long as we uh, of course it's hot now we're probably gonna have to deal with this suspania and cuckleburrs but we we got little we got a, we got a chemical to take care of them pretty easy so yeah here we are uh yeah we need to learn to trap so this sucks but we got to do it stay tuned Stop it, please.